For the first time in tech history, Muslim developers have a golden opportunity. While others are stuck in 9-to-5 jobs missing prayers, a small group of AI developers are building six-figure halal businesses from their laptops. Praying on time, working remotely, choosing their clients, and serving the ummah. I'm a developer and I recently started my own AI development agency where we build AI agents and automations for businesses. Just look at some recent projects from our agency. A $12,000 project to create automations for a Muslim law firm. A $3,400 project to help a YouTube Dawah channel with 500 thousand subscribers translate their content into multiple languages using AI. A $6,000 project to build a voice agent for a home service business and many more halal projects that pay very well. By the end of this video, you'll have my complete system to build and launch your own one-person halal AI business. This isn't theory. This is the exact system that I've used to help developers like you in our community land from two to $10,000 paid projects. This isn't just about making money. This is about reaching financial independence while staying true to our values. I'm sharing everything with you here. Strategies, pricing formulas, and client acquisition methods that align with our deen. Let me show you a pattern in tech that keeps repeating throughout history. In the early 2000s, when the internet came out, every business service needed a website. In the 2010s, when social media came out, every business needed social media pages. Now, every business needs AI, but they have no idea how to implement it. Most developers are missing this completely. They're still stuck learning outdated frameworks, applying on job boards where they get no responses, and stuck in jobs where AI might replace them. Meanwhile, here is the opportunity that very few people are talking about. There are 33.2 million small businesses in the US alone. All of them need AI integrations now or they will need them very soon. These businesses are mostly non-technical, so they don't want to hire full-time developers. They're looking for freelancers and agencies to build solutions quickly. And the demand is everywhere. Law firms need AI document automation. Real estate agencies need property analysis. Dawa organizations need content generation. Small businesses need AI customer service. There are two paths to capitalize on this. There is SaaS, which is higher risk, higher investment and longer timelines, but big upside if you make it work. And then you have the AI agency route. This is a faster start, immediate income and lower risk. SaaS is a popular route that a lot of developers try and unfortunately fail. Before learning how to code, I've been trying multiple businesses and I've been making money online since I was 16. Selling digital art, building online stores, selling t-shirts. Then I tried job shipping in an ethical way, of course. I also had a tutoring business. This taught me valuable skills about business on top of coding. And since then, I tried to look at things in a very practical way. SaaS is exciting, but it's hard. Agency is a lot easier. You can start directly. You can get your first client in the first month. You can build a project for them. You get paid immediately. Immediately, you can have a salary that surpasses your job pretty quickly, and then you can still build a SaaS later on. So this is the route I picked. I started Codebender AI, an AI development company building AI agents and automations for companies. And with agencies, there are three profitable service models. AI integration consulting, you can get from two to $10,000 or more per project. You have custom AI agent development, you can get from four to $10,000 and more per project. And you have AI automation systems, where you can get paid a setup fee and then a monthly retainer, and it can also be a few thousand dollars per month. Now, I will show you the exact system I used to make $11,000 in my first month of starting my one-person AI business. And it's what my students are using too to make thousands of dollars every month outside of their day job. Here is the exact 90-day roadmap to land your first $10,000 client. We teach you how to implement this plan in our Codebender Incubator program. The beautiful thing about this model is that you can schedule it around our five daily prayers. You're not bound to some corporate schedules or non-Muslim holidays. You can take Friday off for Jumwa without asking anyone's permission. The first month is going to be your foundation. So step one, you're going to define your niche. The best niche has a combination of these elements. The audience is rich, so they have enough money to pay you. You have some unique advantage from your past experience, your life situation. You know people in that niche or you can easily find them. This gives you a huge advantage because they're going to be warm leads for you. That niche fits your interest and obviously it has to be 100% halal. So a few examples of good niches are lawyers, doctors, realtors, funded tech startups. If you're not sure, start broad and then narrow down over time. Second, you want to find a list of problems for them and from there it's going to give you ideas for solutions that you can offer them. There are different services you can provide. You can build automations, voice agents, chatbots, custom AI apps, lead generators and more. Then you need to learn how to actually build these solutions. So you need to master your core AI development skills. You don't need to spend years learning every AI framework or, or having a PhD in machine learning to build these solutions. Focus on practical tools. For AI apps, just Next.js and OpenAI will do the trick for most projects. For voice agents, you can use something like Vapi or Retail AI. For automations, just use AnyN or Make.com. The key is to have a business first approach. We don't care about your tools. Remember, only care about your solutions. Businesses, they don't care if you use Python or JavaScript, code or no code tools. As long as you have something that works, that solves their problem quickly and at a good price, 
That's all that matters. Month two, you want to build authority. This is where most developers fail. They build in silence, so no one knows what they do or what they're capable of doing. Brother, no one is going to check your GitHub. You have to share your projects. So here's the plan. Once you have the skills, build three demos using trending technology. So if your new AI model comes out, use that model, build a project within your niche, within the service you want to provide, and demo it. So for example, if you want to sell AI voice agents to law firms, build that the best is if you can present the demo as a case study so you make a loom video you show how it works you explain how many hours you can save per week what kind of value can it provide put that loom video on linkedin youtube whatever you want you want people to see that you have expertise in a specific niche and that you can provide value month three is about client acquisition here you have to start with your network that's the simplest to get started this is where you're going to get your first three clients message everyone in your network ask for introductions leverage muslim community networks if you're looking to work with doctors for example you probably know at least one doctor in your life that you have gone to and probably the people that you know they also know doctors so you can ask them these warm connections are going to be a lot stronger than just random cold outreaches then another thing you can do is you can join private AI developer communities over the past few months 10 of my students inside of our community in the codebender accelerator have landed paid projects and it's all through opportunities that were shared in the community here you can see some screenshots of our members getting from two to ten thousand dollar projects if you want to get in click the link below to book a call we'll talk and we'll see if you're right fit to join us we get a lot of calls so spot go out fast better be quick. Now, as you're reaching out to people in your network, you want to turn those conversations into clients. So ask them to schedule a 15 to 30 minute discovery call. You can use Calendly or Cal.com for that. You just send them your calendar. The goal in this call is to get key project details up front and ask thorough questions. Then at the end of that initial discovery call, you book a follow up call for a few days later. In between those days, you're going to create a compelling proposal for them. Your goal is to make it impossible for them to say no. The payment structure that I like to do is I divide the project in two to three parts. The payment is done after each milestone, so it makes it easy for the clients. They don't have to pay anything up front, so it's easy for them to say yes. If they agree, I send them the contract on DocuSign, they sign it, and then we begin the work. But now the question is, how much money do you ask them for those projects? I have a formula that I'm using. I take my hourly rate, I multiply it by the number of hours the project will take, and then I multiply it by the value multiplier. That's the price I will charge the clients. The value multiplier is the secret key. Clients, they don't need to know all of this, by the way. Don't share it with them or reveal how many hours the project will take. They just need to know the final price. To set your rate, you need to do some market research. You need to know how much developers who are roughly in your level of experience charge. So for example, if your client is based in California and you're a junior developer, you check how much junior developers in California get paid. And you can take an amount that is a little bit higher than this since you're going to position yourself like an expert. So for that type of client, you could charge $75 to $100 an hour. But then you need to calculate how much time a project Project will take you so here i calculate roughly the base hours that i think is going to take me and then i add an extra 10 hours because it's going to be meeting feedback so for example if i think the project is going to take 40 hours uh 10 hours that's a 50 hour estimation this means that the price is now 75 dollars an hour multiplied by 50 that's 3750 hours for this project this is the base price but now comes the value multiplier for the value multiplier i consider the business size of this client and i calculate return investment so i try to see how much money or time can we save them so for example, if it's a $3,750 project with a value multiplier it can easily be a $6,000 project if you save them a lot of time. That's why I also like to focus on high return investment projects. The window of opportunity to get into AI is closing. Every day you're waiting, someone else is taking your spot. More and more people are discovering this model. There's still opportunity, but don't wait. The first wave of developers will grab the biggest opportunities. If you want me and my team to help you, click the link in the description. If you're qualified, you'll get a free call from us. To benefit from this opportunity as fast as possible, you need to start making money while you're learning those AI skills. So I've made this specific video for you to show you how to do it. Check it out. And remember, this isn't just about making money. It's about achieving freedom while practicing our deen and building something meaningful. Thank you for watching, Codbenders, and Asalaamu Alaikum.